Welcome to the 11th Annual Beat Breast Cancer Mud Volleyball Tournament. We uh, sidestep some, hold up. We sidestep some uh, rain. We were all worried this whole weekend and stuff, trying to get things done, but I, I think we're gonna end up with a pretty good day. So glad everybody made it here through the fog. I know a lot of y'all stayed the last couple of nights and so I, I know there's lots of red eyes out there. <laughs> lots of fun, but that's all right. So. Um, Thanks again for coming out today. Uh, it's it's a, like I said, it's our 11th year. Um, one of the cool things this year is we actually got six recipients that we're helping. And so we're gonna bring them up here in a little bit. Um, but first we just gotta go through a few things. Um, number one, I just wanna say thank you to all the sponsors. If you guys take a look at, at all the different sponsors that we have here, there's a lot of people that get together for this event every year. And uh, this is not a cheap event to put on, so we are very excited that so many businesses and, and groups are coming out and helping support us to make sure that we can continue to do this and do this at a high level. Um, we tried to make this as, as safe for you guys, as fun for you guys as possible, so um, a lot of work goes into it. I want to thank my board here. This is our board. Can we give them a round of applause? We spend, we, you know, we've got meetings throughout the year, and this this is not, a, we show up one weekend and get this done. It's pretty much a year round. We might take a couple months off, but this is a year round event, so there's a lot that, that happens and a lot that's going on behind the scenes. There's a lot of work, so um, I really owe these guys a lot of a lot of praise because uh, they're all amazing. Um, one of us doesn't do it. it it's a, it takes a group effort for sure. Uh, the committee members that are all down here in front, can we give them a round of applause? committee members now these people these are the guys that they do a lot of the work right along with us and they're coming to meetings and they're doing all this kind of stuff but they're out here a lot helping us with the with the dirty work so we definitely appreciate all that um any and then our volunteers there's volunteers all over the place so thank you to all the volunteers for everything that you guys do um that's that's we just can't get enough of that week let's give it up for them You gotta thank the town of Prague because you can't bring in something this big with this many people and the nice walks down to the bar and back without you know stepping on lawn. So thank you to Prague for everything that you guys do. I want to say thank you to NNTC over here, Northeast Nebraska Telephone Company. They are supplying the Wi-Fi, which I know everybody likes. What? Well, shit, I got a bigger applause than everything else. What? You guys like the Wi-Fi? All right, well, that's all right. So make sure, since you all like the Wi-Fi, make sure you go on Snapchat, take pictures. We've got a Snapchat filter, so check that out. Make sure you're doing that. Post things on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Uh, if you tag, uh, hashtag Pink Bandana, that'd be awesome. Um, let's see what else. Uh, before I, I'm gonna turn this over here to Becky in just a second to go over the rules and stuff, but one thing I do wanna point out is like, if you see these banners over here, uh, the pink ones, um, you know, we've had a lot of recipients in the past. I don't even know that I could tell you how many exactly we had. And uh, one of the crazy things is like breast cancer still is a very serious disease. And we do lose people from time to time. And this year has been a really rough year. We actually lost uh, three of the past, well, two of the past recipients and then one who was uh, an amazing, really close friend to uh, Pink Bandana. Uh, Jody Branson, um, she was our 2014 uh, recipient. Um, she just passed away this year. Um, Joanne, Joanne Bardick, uh, she was our 2017 or 16? 16. 16. 16 recipient, and um, she also passed away. And then um, Abby Villapondo, um, she was one of our, our, the ones, we actually offered Abby the, the ability, the chance to be a recipient. And she said, no, you know what, we're doing okay. We just had a big fundraiser to help somebody else. And from that day on, that, that family, um, you're gonna see Abby's pit over there. They have come back year after year after year and have been so supportive of us, um, helping out with a lot of things. In fact, I just got chills thinking about them always coming back and stuff. And so, um, raise your hands wherever you guys are. Oh, they're right here. We, we, love, we love them, we, they're, they're family, just like all the other recipients. What other recipients are out there? Raise your hand if you're a past recipient. So we got, they keep coming back, we love that. I have all the goosebumps there too. So I mean, the point of this tournament is to actually have fun. We're raising money for these families, but the other part of it is 
You know, we're also trying to raise awareness. You know, our goal is to raise awareness for women that are 40 and under with breast cancer. Um, we are we are giving lots of money away, but the other thing is too is we want women that are younger to actually think about the fact that they could have breast cancer, not to ignore any signs. We're not trying to scare you. Just you know, feel those things a little bit. You know, think about it. Like, check it out. Don't wait, because because that's the one thing we don't want you to do. We're gonna check it out. You know, be on the safe side. So, um, a few other things we've got. Um, Right now we got breakfast burritos that are amazing. So if you want, grab some breakfast burritos. Uh, that's the the North Bend Boy Scouts are doing that. Uh, the concession stand is the the St. John's Catholic Church here in town. So uh, we always let them have this because we want to show the town that we love that they're letting us come here and and take over the town for a day. So support them. If you haven't had a colach, you got to have a colach. Um, oh, we have tons of free water. So if the sun does come out and it gets nasty and you guys are thirsty. I know you're going to be drinking some Pivo, which is beer. You guys can also come over here and grab some water. We've got plenty of that. Uh, let's see what else. Um, quick stop across the across the way. You know they've got anything that you might need. The Wild Ride can help you out downtown if you got some time and want to head down there. Um, let's see. Uh, one other thing, there is a pit over here. If, if you go between the Dickinson Pit and Abby's Pit, you'll see a spot where the sand's kind of low. You have to wear shoes in that area. We found some some sand burrs or spikes. Or, there's these little thorns in there, so we don't want anybody stepping on them. We're, our feet have been filled with them. So if you're going to walk in that area, wear shoes. In fact, we suggest wearing sandals as you walk around anyway. Pits are clean. You're good in the pits. But like some of the areas, just keep track. We try to get everything up, but like there's always something out there. So um, as far as that, put suntan lotion on. Oh yeah, the Sid Dillon truck. You guys see that out here every year. So really cool thing with that is Sid Dillon will match us if we can get $1,000 in there. So it's our goal to get $1,000. That doesn't mean you have to throw in 100. We'd love that. But if you throw in $5, $10, $1, throw in some quarters, I don't care. It all adds up. So let's get that thing up to 1,000 and then that way we can double that money. Yeah. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over to, to uh, Becky and Becky's gonna go through the rules. Okay, we have, um just some rules we're gonna go over real quick. It is a six on six co-ed tournament. Um, you can have a minimum of four people if you're short on people, but you need to make sure you never have more guys on the court than girls, um, but a minimum of four people. Um, we have bracket volunteers at each bracket board. They're gonna be keeping track of your score, or not your scores, I guess, but your games. When you win your game or you lose your game, make sure you're reporting them so that they can keep track of all the brackets. Um, captains, you are responsible for keeping track of the progress of the game. So make sure you are watching what match number you guys are at. Everybody, we're gonna keep a two minute wait time. If you are not at your pit within two minutes, we will move on to the next game. If there is, for some reason, a buy or a no show, we may tack on a little extra time for people to get there but make sure you're watching your numbers. Every bracket board has a flip score. That is tracking the number of game that we are on. Every team has a number of match, so make sure you're tracking that. This is a double elimination tournament. So we have a winner's bracket, which is one game rally scoring to 21 points. You must win by two points with a 25 point cap. Losers bracket, if you lose, you will go to this bracket and it will be one game to 15 points, still rally scoring, and you must win by two points with an 18 point cap. Um, we do not have officials refing your games, so you are responsible for trying to make the calls yourself. We do ask that if you win your game, that you stay or you assign your captain or somebody to help assist with scores or making calls for the next game. Uh, if you can't agree on a call, it's an automatic replay. Serving. You cannot block or spike a serve. You must serve underhand. No sky balls are allowed. So if you use sky ball, it's an automatic side out. Let serves are not allowed. So if you have a let serve, it hits the net, but it crosses over into the opponent's team side, it's an automatic side out. Uh, playing. There is no guy-girl rule. So if two guys touch the ball, a girl does not have to send it over. It's whatever you want it to be. We do have one new rule that we changed this year. Um, and I think some people were playing it last year, so we just decided to switch it. But 
If you are in the back row, you may come up to the front row to block. You cannot attack the ball. You must also stay in your normal rotation. You, if you get out of rotation, if you go to the front, it's going to be an automatic sight out. Please don't hang on the nets. Um, no fighting. Number one rule, no fighting. That is a big one. Any teams engaged in this will be booted from the tournament if we have any fighting whatsoever. Remember, we're here for these six ladies that we're about to show you here in a minute. So, um, I think that's it. We do have, like I said, bracket volunteers working. Be nice to our volunteers, please. Everybody is, don't steal the chairs. Um, but, you know, if there's, if there's a call that doesn't get made that you don't like, or if you have questions, just go talk to your volunteers, but they're there to help you. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. All right, my name is Linnea Valverino. I'm on the board for Pink Bandana. I just want to mirror what Jeremy said earlier. Everybody, welcome to the Bohemian Alps of Prague. Let's hear it. Y'all excited? Ready to go? In our 11th year, going strong this year. Ready to have some fun. We, we're so glad that you're all here. You're all here. This is the most important part of the whole thing. Um, we did the rules, right? The rules. We did the captain's meeting. I feel like there's something that we're forgetting, like, what? The single most important reason that we were all here today. Our six recipients, our six families, our six warriors. We're about ready to bring them up and introduce them to you and give them all $10,000 each. $60,000, six zero. Because of the help of all of you, the teams, the sponsors, the donors, you make that possible. So thank you very much. So if I can get all the recipients up here, we're gonna get you in a line up here and we're gonna give you a big fat check. tell you how inspiring your stories were to us when we have to go through all of the applications. Everybody's got a story, but you have touched us, you've touched our lives, and you're a part of the family. So there, you're part of the Pink Banana family. There's no going back now. So welcome. So as we introduce these checks, I just want everybody to remember when we're out there, we're playing games, people get competitive, we're here for fun. These ladies and these families right here in front of you, that's why we're here today, right? We're playing for them, we're playing for breast cancer, we're playing for a cure. So let's introduce our recipients. Right here we have Angela Mesa of Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> Becky Rabel of Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> Beth O'Brien of Bennington, Nebraska. <laughs> Corey Liebig of Columbus, Nebraska. of O'Neill, Nebraska, and Rosie Lockwood of Lincoln, Nebraska. So as we're here today, I just encourage everybody to take a moment, come up, Introduce yourself, say hi, meet the recipients. And as you leave today, I just ask, everybody say a little prayer. Say a prayer for these families. 
Say a prayer for the road that they've been down, the battle that they're up against, the recovery, the road to recovery. Everybody say a prayer. We're all here today. We're all banding together. So let's give one more round of applause. All right, guys. Once again, welcome to the family. We're excited to have you. This always gets me gives me chills, gets me a little teary out. I ain't gonna lie. So, we're going to get ready to play some mud volleyball now, but we're going to do the national anthem before that. But before we start that, because we'll start playing after that, who is going to win this trophy? <laughs> this is the sexiest trophy you've ever seen, right? Yeah. You're even going to put your name on it, and then we'll store it in some dark room and get it out next year. <laughs> so really quick, let's go ahead and, and we'll go ahead and do the national anthem. So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed. Teams. We're going to have you go to the pits now and get in there. So, sun's out, gun's out. Let's play dirty and feel good about it. 